So your first step is to go to docs.google.com. Now you'll see here that I'm already logged in. So what I'll do is go over here to new, form, and here's my starting form. So we want to go ahead and title this form. So I'm going to call mine, since I'm doing an insurance testimonial form, HSL Insurance Testimonial Survey. Okay, now this is some text that you can add to give people special instructions. Um, I'll skip that for now, go directly to the questions. So first question, how have you worked with HSL insurance. And I want to make this uh, where they can choose specific things that I've already put down. Uh, this enables you to really get your test subjects down to a smaller level and get the answers that you're really looking for uh, without giving too many choices and making it too intimidating. So we'll make this multiple choice. Option one, as a business owner. Option two, as an individual customer. Okay. We'll select done. Question number two, you'll want to edit. And let's make this one, what did you like best? about your experience with HSL insurance. Now this one is going to be a little more subjective. You're going to have to let them uh, decide a little bit. So we'll choose paragraph text. That way uh, they can go as long or as short as they want because you really want detail in this anyway. Um, I'm going to make this a required question because I want these to be able to be used as testimonials on our website. So I'm going to click done. Now, ran out of questions, so I can add an item. You'll see that you can actually pick the type of question um, that you're going to do if you add it through this menu. So what I'm going to do next is, uh, would you recommend family and friends? So obviously this one, um, you know, you're only going to need a yes or no here. So we'll do a multiple choice. So on the question title, would you recommend HSL insurance to your family and friends? Now on the multiple choice, obviously there's going to be a yes and there is going to be a no. You also see here, um, that you could do an add other in this case you would need it but what that does is it actually allows them to select a third answer that they can physically type in themselves um, we don't need that here but I'm going to make this a required question now you could leave it at this and just keep it short and sweet um, I am going to add a few more things um, I want to add a text question and ask for a uh, name um, I'll just put enter your name here so you can see what the help text looks like and make this a required question so that I know who the referral came from or the testimonial rather came from and I can uh, use that for advertising purposes. So just put that and you see how short and sweet this looks. So what I'm going to do just for uh, the demo here is go ahead and save this. Um, you can see that it's saving. The great thing about doing something online, you don't have to do a lot of uh, saving. There's nowhere to go and find it. Um, every time you go and make changes, the changes are already made and they're kept up with. And you can actually track them, roll them back to previous versions, um, that kind of thing. Now one thing you want to know about this form is you can have it published. So you can actually uh, send people a link. Uh, it shows here. So you could just copy this link and actually see the completed form online. Um, I'll go ahead and open this in a new tab so that you can see what this looks like. Um, that's what your finished form is going to look like for anyone who goes to fill it out. Um, so obviously they would just click their answers, type in something here, click their answer, put their name in, hit submit. 
Now you'll notice when they click submit, let me just put something in here, uh, test, and I'm Robert, so I'll put my name Robert. Now you'll notice when you submit, you're going to get this message. Thanks, your response will now appear in my spreadsheet. You can also change uh, what messages they get when they're finished. So how you do that is in this More Actions tab here, Edit Confirmation. You'll go in here, you see this, this confirmation message that we had before. Well, all you got to do is just go ahead and delete that out. Um, I've already prepared one to make this a little faster, so I'm going to copy and paste it in here just like this. Thank you so much for taking the time to complete the form. We appreciate your business, blah, blah, blah. Um, now that you also see right here in this checkbox, they have another option um, that you can allow your users to do. Um, say if you're taking uh, using this form for maybe a meeting confirmation or an RSVP for a party or something of that nature. You can actually click this so they can see the responses that everyone else has submitted. So I don't need that here. I don't really want them to see other people's testimonials. It's really not the point. So I'm going to unclick that, press save. Now you'll notice if we go back, I'm going to go ahead and close this and reopen it again. Just to show you as this form, let me go ahead and do this, test two. Would you recommend your family and friends? Yes. Um, I'm going to put uh, Robert a second and submit. Now you'll see the custom message that we put in there that they now see. Now, if you don't want to send anyone to the website uh, to fill out your form there, um, you can also have them fill it out within an email that you sent. So you see this little thing here, email this form. If you actually email this form, you click on it, you put the person's email address in there, um, it, it gives you a subject. Um, you can include the form in the email by checking this box here. This is what I would recommend doing because once they open their email, uh, what they're going to see is that same form that you saw on the internet site. They're going to see that within the email. They'll be able to respond and submit from within their email inbox. Uh, never even leave their email. Super convenient for people. So that really works. Um, one more thing I want to point out is how easily, once you get all your questions on, uh, say I decide that I want their name first. Um, I can actually move this around uh, like that. So I can just drag and drop the questions in any order of which I think is the best for me or maybe the best for them as far as the flow of answering the questions. Now you're probably asking yourself, where do all these go? Well, the best thing uh, about Forms and Google Docs is it automatically creates this nifty spreadsheet. So you'll see um, each one of the four questions that I have on there. You will see the response in a spreadsheet format um, that you can also do sort um, based on the answers. And a great thing about it is you actually get a timestamp. So you know when the people filled it out. Um, this is great if you're uh, you know, doing any kind of uh, surveys or you're doing any kind of questionnaires. Um, you could actually do um, expense reports, things of that nature. Um, so if people have, have a charge that they've done for the company that they need a reimbursement for, uh, you can actually see when they put those in. 